Hey everybody, this is the Esoteric Cross. I make videos about how to gain your personal power while learning ancient secrets, and if that sounds like something that you're into, please hit the like button and subscribe and gain insight from this perspective in the cosmos. In this video, I wanted to talk about alchemy and how we can get started with the spiritual process. Alchemy has been viewed as an early form of chemistry that has to do with the transformation of metals or transforming metal into gold. It's symbolic of transforming us, our matter, into a higher state. Alchemy is about achieving the magnum opus, or the great work. The goal is the philosopher's stone, which is the holy grail or the fountain of youth. It is equated with immortality. This is the great work. Now, this doesn't mean that we will live forever in our physical body. This physical body is just a vessel for God's consciousness. Instead, this means that we are crystallizing our aura, our consciousness, so that after death we may not forget who we are, so we don't have to reincarnate upon this reality anymore. We will instead become like our own star. We could merge back with Source or create our own reality to throw ourselves into as God consciousness threw itself into our physical reality. You can look at the alchemical process in four stages. The four stages are the blackening, the whitening, the yellowing, and then finally the reddening. These stages can be traced back to the first century. They can actually be compared to the four elements, the four seasons, the fixed cross. You can watch my video titled, the four corners of reality to get a more in-depth explanation of the foundations there. This is a more in-depth view of the actual process that the symbols represent. The first stage is negredo, or the blackening. This is death. Only through death can there be new life. This is not a literal death. We are constantly dying when we are growing. We must burn away all of the parts of ourselves that we need to change in order to actually change. This is the dark night of the soul, the stage where we confront our darkness. This stage can be very painful, and it is really hard to confront the shadow aspects of ourselves. This is sacrifice. The death of our ego. Jesus Christ sacrifices himself for the good of all creation. I talk on this channel all the time about how Jesus Christ is the Son of God, S-U-N. The Son in astrology represents our ego. Our ego, the Son, must be sacrificed, and we focus on the collective and serving humanity instead of serving our ego. This is that death that we must endure, and it is very painful to let go of our ego. Stage 2 is albedo, the whitening. This is the washing away of impurities. This is the purification stage. In this stage, the inflated ego has been removed and we are focusing more on the collective and how we can serve other. This is the stage that we replace our old morals with new morals. We have a new set of values and we are practicing our new way of life. We are regaining our sovereignty of our soul. This is a stage where we balance our masculine and feminine energies within us. So if you have a more feminine energy, you would want to bring more masculinity to yourself to balance the scales. If you are more masculine, then you'll want to bring more receptivity and femininity to yourself. Stage 3 is Citronitas, the yellowing. This is the rebirth of the sun, the resurrection of the sun. This is the dawning of the solar light, the dawning of consciousness. This is giving depth to what has died off and what we have replaced that with. Stage four is rubedo, or the reddening. This is the end of the great work. The last stage can take years. This is the distillation of all of the work that you've just put in. It takes a very long time to distill. This stage can be represented by blood, the phoenix, or a rose. This stage is the birth of new personality. This process cannot be reversed, as once you have learned new information, it can't be unlearned. The point of this work is to be able to notice the parts of ourselves that are not serving us, the parts of ourselves that prevent us from turning lead into gold. 
what is keeping us from ascending. We must be able to burn those parts away to ashes, and then we have to see duality within ourselves. We must see our cognitive dissonance. This will lead us to our rising consciousness, our rebirth, which will take a long time to distill in our last stage and will give us the ability to turn that lead into gold. Our consciousness has been made new and we are existing in a higher dimension. Escaping the wheel of reincarnation and being given the ability to create worlds within worlds. The beginning of this process is really, really hard. You may see life unravel. You may be tested. The old parts that do not serve you will fall away, and if you attach to them, they will be ripped away. We must surrender to the process as much as possible. If we start to purify ourselves by the process of acceptance, then this first stage will be much easier. This is the magnum opus. This is the immortality of the soul. I hope there was something new that you were able to take away from this video. If so, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.